What you guys got another video here for you. Microsoft 2 forced a Microsoft account during setup. Now, during the installation process of Windows 11, many people want to set up a local account, but Microsoft don't want you doing this, and they have now literally clamped down hard on some of the bypass methods that people have been using, and they are locking down and stopping you from using these to be able to set up a local account on Windows 11. So you'll no longer be able to install Windows 11 and use one of the bypass methods to be able to sign up uh, to a local account instead of using a Microsoft account. It says right here on this blog, local only commands removed. We are removing known mechanisms for creating local accounts in the Windows setup experience, OOBE. While these mechanisms were often used to bypass Microsoft accounts, during the setup phase, Microsoft is saying that you are skipping a critical setup screens, potentially causing users to exit the OOBE experience uh, with that device. And that is not fully configured for use. So Microsoft are also saying users will need to complete the OOBE experience with internet and Microsoft accounts to be able to ensure the device is set up correctly. So I downloaded the versions that they are testing on and basically once these are rolled out to the general public from this day forward when you get these builds you will not be able to bypass uh, Windows 11 uh, Microsoft account. You will have to sign into one of those accounts and I tried it at different stages. I tried disconnecting from the internet. I tried the OOBE out of box experience with the backslash bypass NRO and that didn't work at all and I also tried uh, the new favorite one that everyone is using which is also now blocked I tried adding a key into the registry and this this would not work either I tried older methods as well and they just didn't want to work so I'm not going to spend all that time showing you every single method because none of them worked uh, and I will just show you the ones the common ones that people are using to bypass the Microsoft account. Now, Microsoft are saying that you can log back into a local account once you reach the desktop. You don't have to stay signed into a Microsoft account, but what they are insisting that you use a Microsoft account during the setup phase of Windows. And this is probably so they can register that PC as well to your account. And they can also uh, set up uh, the OOBE experience for you uh, using the screens that they want you to see during this setup phase. By using these bypass methods, they say that you're not seeing these screens. So make of that of what you will, whether Microsoft are being shady and dodgy or whatever it may be. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some conspiracy theorists out there giving their reasons to why Microsoft want you to do this. But unfortunately... Once this starts to roll out, this is in beta at the moment, you will not be able to bypass. You will be forced to use a Microsoft account during this phase of the setup process of OOBE. And I have to say, at this stage, it's pretty pointless even trying to find new ways of bypassing it because Microsoft are just going to turn them off because this is what they've done right here. They've literally just gone in and disabled all of these mechanisms and stopped them from working. Even the old ones like the network flow where you could just uh, use that ability to be able to bypass it. They've completely disabled all of that stuff during the OOBE experience. So that's what they're doing. Uh, they are trying to force you to sign in. Now, once you sign in to a Microsoft account, they will have obviously your email address and obviously uh, all your details that are connected to that account. And then once you get to the desktop, you'll be then be able to sign out. But unfortunately, that means you are going to have to give up some personal information to be able to install Windows 11. So from this stage, let me go ahead and try to do Shift F10 to open up the command prompt here. And we'll try it from here. So we'll try this one, which is the brand new one that everyone was using to bypass. And what this does is it basically shuts you out of this phase and restarts the whole out-of-box experience uh, setup phase. So you'll see here when I push enter, you'll see a box popping up and then it just restarts just like so. And you go back to this window right here. 
And Microsoft have done that to all of these mechanisms to stop you using these bypass methods to be able to sign into a local account during the setup phase of Windows 11. Now, I know there's going to be people jumping in the comments saying, I've tried it in a virtual machine and it works perfectly fine. Yes, it will work on modern Windows 11 25 H2 builds as of today, but these builds that they're talking about will be blocked. And once they are rolled out, you will not be able to do it anymore. This is going to be happening very shortly because they're testing it inside the beta program right now. And this is what's coming forward to you in the future. So if you want to know what builds it's rolling out on at the moment, it's these builds I've got up the top here. You'll see them so you can download those and test it and it won't work. This is the builds I'm using right here. And this will be eventually rolled out to the general public. There will be an update which will stop that from working. And unfortunately, that's just the way it's going to be. So you won't be able to use any of these methods. Now, I've tried using regedit and going inside and adding keys. It just won't let you do it. And as Microsoft have said on their page, they're basically shutting down all of the mechanisms that are used as of today. So all of the little bypass methods that people have been using for some time and they will just not work anymore personally i think people are making far too much out of the giving up your email address you pretty much have to do that on every single place you go to nowadays whether it'll be youtube whether it be facebook whether it be twitter or x whether it'll be any of the other social media platforms or any websites that you want you have to give up your email address and some people want to use throwaway emails or whatever it may be at the end of the day, it's tied to you. They can find out who you are. It's, it's not as if you can hide through using a throwaway email. And, you know, it is what it is. People are just going to have to get used to it. And if that's a deal breaker for you and you can't get used to it and you just simply don't want to give up your email address, then obviously you've got other options. You're going to have to either use Mac OS or you're going to have to use Linux or any of the other options out there available to you if that is what is really troubling you. At the end of the day, you could use an older version of Windows, which isn't supported anymore, and that just means you're not going to receive security updates just to bypass the uh, signing up with your email address. Unfortunately, Microsoft owned this operating system, and it is pretty much locked down. There's not a lot you can do when they make changes like this. You're just going to have to suck it up, really and get on with it it's a bit of a cat and mouse game that uh, microsoft are playing at the moment with the user base of windows 11 you've got people that are finding ways to get around things and then you're getting microsoft that are plugging those workarounds to force you to do something they want you to do which is obviously sign into a microsoft account so let me know your thoughts in the comment section why you think microsoft are enforcing you to uh, sign in with your Microsoft account during the out-of-box experience phase, which is this phase right here. Why are they so hell-bent on making you put your, uh, you know, your email address in? Because I think there's more to it than just wanting you to see these splash screens that they're showing up here and not skip any of them. I think there's more to it than that. And I do, I have my own theories on why they're doing it, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'll be happy to read your uh, comments on this and let us know what you think so i guess we have to give microsoft the edge right now in this battle of bypassing uh, the microsoft account it looks like microsoft have done a move on everyone that uh, at the moment doesn't seem to be able to bypass and i'm pretty sure that there's going to be people delving into this section right here to try and find a way to bypass it still and I'll be interested to see what happens in the future, whether we are be able to find a way to uh, be up bypass this uh, method, because at the moment it looks like Microsoft are hellbent on stopping you, and it looks like they're winning the battle at the moment, but they haven't won the war yet. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout-out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat or I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.